Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Elite Season 8, featuring Toki for the NES. I am Hans Buttface. On tonight's episode, we will bring you the first matches of the bracket round in the Cesspool League. But first, we have exclusive, never-before-seen footage from the first week race between Jack and Miss Wedge and Just Man 114. This is an episode you will only see tonight or Sunday on the replay, or tonight if this is Sunday, or on YouTube in the Season 8 playlist, or anytime we show it on Twitch if we just throw all the videos into a playlist and let it run. And calling it is Big Reg, Reginald E. Sports Jackson. Yo, Ma, what's good? This is your boy, Reginald E. Sports Jackson. Here with this lost footage of the Jackamus Wedge versus Just a Man 114 race. This has never been seen before, but we'll see it for the first time right now. Jackamus Wedge is on stage one, he wants to show everybody. Spotting Justin a full five second lead here. This is Group Donkey Kong, and Jackamus Wedge has died already. You gotta be asking yourself right now, like, why was this race never seen before? Well, I don't know. I'm seeing it with you for the first time. Now remember, both players are 0-0 at this point. But after this race, we'll see if this race even matters as far as the standings go, before we get into the bracket round of the cesspool. We are one minute into this race. I am Reginald E. Sports Jackson. And we're watching Jack Miss Wedge versus Justin Man 114 from week number one. The lost footage. Both players have taken multiple deaths already. Jack's going very slow. Let's see if it works out for him. Meanwhile, Justin is going to be on the boss of stage one. Both players elected not to practice before this event. Let's see if that matters. Last life here for Jack Miss Wedge. Just a man gained a life on the point based one up. Jackamus could not jump and get the helmet, so he decides to jump right into that spiky tree. And he uses the sperm cloud to get the helmet. I've never seen that before. That is in a first, that is a first in the elite tournament history. And your boy, Reginald E. Sports Jackson, was here to see it. Alright, first boss down for Jack Miss Wedge. He collects his goodies while Justin Man swims in the water. And is at Neptuna. So we'll call it almost a full half stage lead here for Justin Man 114. Looks like Jack is doing some damage control. Second stage boss here for Justin Man 114. You got a part of me for being a little bit quiet here. I am just enjoying this action. This never be so before seen footage of Elite Season 8. Almost uh, so excited that my voice is uh, kind of changing here. Just a man makes his way to stage 3. Mall Jack misses at the halfway point here of stage 2. Ah. 
See if Justin's gonna get the quick kill. Nope. But a fast kill nonetheless. He grabs the helmet first and he's on his way down. Speaking of on his way down, Jack Miss Wedge takes a death there. Both players were in danger of getting that game over, but they have gotten some free lives in the meantime. So the danger has been averted for a little while. All right, helmet wears out there for Justin Man 114. He's going to deal with this spider, land on the platform, and descend. And he jumps right through that Patra on his way to getting that power up. Man, I hope he doesn't do this every single race. That would be no bueno. Yeah, your boy knows some Spanish here. Don't want to brag, but I did take it in high school a few times. All right, second boss here for Jack Miss Wedge. As Justin is dodging stuff on his way to the third boss. Oh, but Jack takes a death. Looks like Justin Man's going to take a death here pretty soon. We'll be on these eggshells. He's going to grab a few coins. And there's the death. Last life here for Justin Man 114. And a pretty long boss fight here for Jack and Miss Wedge. Two more hits left, and there he goes. And there is Justin Man's game over. Ah. Can we get some feel Chad Man in chat, please? Just a reminder that after this race, we'll be seeing the first round action of the cesspool bracket in the Elite Season 8 Tournament. Alright, Justin gets to the boss. Takes out the letter R, and letter R does not appear later on, and then he comes out a little bit later. But Justin takes a death, and Jack Miss Wedge is slowly catching up here. We are seven minutes into this race. I am Reginald E. Sports Jackson. Hope everybody is well tonight. Justin looks like he can't decide if he's trying to kill the chickens or the knives. But he's going to have another set of lives to think about it. As he takes damage straight away. And gets back to the boss. His mashing is not too good here in week number one. And it doesn't look like he can avoid the letter R either. There is the uh, first game over there for Jack and Maze Wedge. And Justin finally feels like he can undertake the task of killing this boss, and he does. That was a, uh, that was a lot of ways and a lot of words to say he beat the boss. But, you know, I am a professional broadcaster, so I have an extensive vocabulary. So uh, one of the things you learn in school is, uh, you know, how to... How, how to say things differently and how to mute your mic every time you decide you want to cough. And I am uh, I am a pro at muting the mic tonight. I had a roast beef sandwich and it's uh, slightly stuck in my throat and went down the wrong pipe. But your boy will be fine. We'll, we'll press on here and continue this race, you know. Because I don't want to let the guys at Elite Season 8 down.
All right, Jacobus is nearing the edge of this stage. End of this stage, I should say, not the edge of this stage. It's a little bit to go here. He has one life left and the two heart containers. Both players lost their heart container after a game over. Justin is on his final heart of this set of continues. Hopefully he doesn't have to use it. And uh, Jackamus Wedge is trying to go for the slowest kill of any boss in the tournament so far. So far, so good. And no, he does take a death. He's going to have to try again. Really getting his money's worth out of that fight. He must miss Splatterhouse. Speaking of getting his money's worth, Justin Man has to take a death there and a game over and start again. So Justin Man is on the boss of stage three. Jackmas is on the boss of stage three. Sorry. Justin's on the boss of stage four. And you know it's stage four because the elephant is green like a golf course where you yell four all the time. Or at least your boy does. They don't uh, let me let me use the uh, golf course anymore because because one time when using the driving range, I decided to let go of my club, and then they had to stop everybody while I went and go got it, or actually they had to stop everybody after I went and go got go to get it. They didn't like that. They felt like I should be staying behind the line. And I just wanted to get my golf club. It wasn't even my golf club. It was my dad's golf club. And he didn't even know I had it. So I was going to get in some trouble there. But I did get the golf club. And uh, I have not been back to that driving range since. It's actually a... Uh, it's apartments now. They, they leveled the whole driving range. And they put up all these condos. And uh, yeah, they don't like when you use uh, the condo parking lot as a driving range. I found that one out too. But technically, I thought you the ban was only for that one particular driving range place. And then when it left, then I can go back and hit a bucket of balls. But there was no bucket of balls to be had because the machines weren't there. Because it's a part... I, I don't know if I said this or not. But they were apartments and condos. And it wasn't a driving range anymore. So I had these tokens left over from when I was kicked out. So I tried to use them. But... You can't use them because there's no vending machine. And they didn't fit in the Coke machine. They were a little too thicker. Too thick to fit in the Coke machine. But um, So I had to drive. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I bought... You know, I could only, your boy can only afford like a package of three balls. Titleists. And uh, yeah, I went back and I hit a couple. And then someone's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, ah, how are you, how are you doing? Do you watch Elite? Like, we just stop hitting the golf ball against my door. I'm like, oh, yeah. No, sorry about that. But, you know, I was trying to hit the golf cart, but that's not there either because they're apartments now. I don't know if I said that. But, yeah, so I'm not allowed there either anymore, the cop said. But I would recommend, you know, if you have, you have stress, built up stress in your life, like, you know, Mom's always getting on you for not doing the dishes or taking out the garbage in time. You're like, hey, no, you know, you know, you know, is playing Zelda 2 now. I can. He's, you know, he's doing any percent up in A allowed, deathless. And, you know, I, I got to watch it. What if he PBs and I'm outside taking the garbage out? You know, I can take the garbage out anytime. I can take the garbage out when, you know, Thurwolf streams, you know, and then come back and he's still fighting Dragon Lord 2. You know what I mean? Your boy doesn't really have time for that. I got a a lot of stuff I have to watch. I'm a professional esports broadcaster. I got to know everything that's going on. But you know, sometimes I get so pent up, it's just like, all right, let's just go hit a bucket of golf balls. You know, I can't do that anymore. But you know, we'll find other things to do, I guess. Speaking of finding other things to do, Jack Miss Wedge is finding the same thing to do, and that is dying. See, Justin Man is back on two lives as well, but he is in the final stage, so he'll be done with this soon.
two full stages in front of Jack Miss Wedge as he transitions from one cart to the other on his way to the final boss of the game. We are 14 minutes and 25 seconds into the race. I am Rachel E. Sports Jackson, man. And that is a death for Jackamus Wedge here. Last set of minecarts before the final boss. Justin Man's going to take the death, get his heart back, or two hearts back. He has one more life after this. Some more damage control on Jackamus' side. So through all the continues here, looks like Justin Man has set the high score at 69,500. BTs will love that. Almost 69,000 for Jack Miss Wedge as well. Let's see if we can get it now. No, we cannot, because that is a top score. It's not his current score. His current score is 250, 300, 450, and he dies. Let's see if he can get that score to at least 10,000 before he uses a continue. Well, Just Man is on his last life here. I believe he has one more continue left after this. Now it's time to see the elephant do some attacks that nobody else sees the elephant do. Because the elephant would be dead by now. And now the elephant is dead. As Justin gets the final boss. And there is phase two. This is a reminder that this is the week one matchup between Jack Miss Wedge and Justin Man 114. This is lost footage. No one's ever seen this before, and Just Man's hoping that no one ever sees it again. But uh, we are we are showing it, so he will know that people are are seeing it. Restarts and takes a death right away. And so does Jack Miss. He clips into the corner there. Jack's on his last life of this continue, and he's going to lose a heart container when he dies. And not if, when... Jackamus gets hit by the flower out of nowhere. Let's see how he handles this poisonous flower. Oh, he doesn't take care of the last bullet, and he takes a death. Ah! Here's Justin attempting the, attempting the final boss yet again. This is where I encourage chat to post your favorite emotes in chat, please. There's a hit on Justin. Close to taking his last hit there, but he avoids it. Sprinkling in the shots. Avoids the head. Here comes the hand. It does not get to him. And he jumps into the head, and here's his last life of the game. He has no more continues left. Jack and Swedge has some continues left. But he is still very far behind. Here we go. Nice snipe in midair. It's like Jack's having trouble with this teeter totter. There he goes. Checks the left platform to see if anything's hidden. There's nothing hidden there. And here it is. Form number two. There's the point of damage from the hand. So one more hit and just a man is done. And there it is, and Justin Man takes the game over. And he's going to elect to watch the Boston Bruins and not continue. 
So this does not mean that Jack Miss automatically wins. Jack Miss Wedge, even if he gets further than just a man, the goal of the game is beat the game, or the goal of the race is beat the game. And that means that Jack Miss Wedge has to beat the game. But he can take his time and uh, kill everything in front of him. He doesn't have to speed run it anymore. He just has to finish it. Once again, he checks the left flap platform there. There's nothing there. Maybe he's looking for a warp zone. And here we go. Boss of the jungle. Gets a few shots in, takes a point of damage. Or harder damage, gets a free life there. Now here come the feet. Moonwalking back to him, he doesn't know what to do. He's gonna try to beat it. But he didn't beat it. He does have a healthy amount of lives left though. So he's gonna give it another try. He waits too long on that platform and takes a death. So, two more lives left here. We are 20 minutes and 40 seconds into the race. I am Rigel E. Sports Jackson. You can see on the right side of your screen, Just a Man has forfeited. He ran out of continues and does not want to start over. He's more interested in watching Chukarask. But Jack Miss is trying to finish here. This is a week one race. And I know we're in the brackets right now, but this week, this match is lost footage. No one's ever seen this before. You're watching it for the first time. And you're experiencing Jack and Miss Wedge fight this boss for the first time. Trying to figure out a way to jump over the foot. And he did it. And there you go. He gets a one-up and a heart to refill his health. And another heart that does nothing. Might as well be ten coins. And he's on his way to the Golden Palace. This is the final stage of the game. And hopefully Jack Miss Wedge can complete it. And earn his victory. Right, he's past Salt Shaker Alley. And he's back to Salt Shaker Alley. The first part of the stage is very unforgiving. You have to deal with a lot of enemies and these barriers that crash down that are not that easy to jump over just to get to the first checkpoint, which is a little bit away. Let's see if he can do it on one heart left. He is going to take his time with that gargoyle, and that's pretty good strategy. Because he does only have to win. Time does not matter anymore. Jack Miss Wedge being methodical right here. And so far, so good. He makes it to the minecart. Oh, no. That went horribly wrong for Jack Miss Wedge. He's going to bait some shots here. He's going to turn this game into a bullet hell. Only takes one point of damage, though, so that's pretty good. Doo, doo, 
Jackabus only has one life left. One life left. He only has one heart container that is not full. Oh, and he falls. All right, so we're going to reset the bullet hell. He's just going to kill everything. He is going for trying to beat his 68,800 point score, I think. Jackamus is trying again. Do, 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 do. Will he make it to the final boss? Do, do, do. I am Reginald Esports Jackson. Ah, Elite Season 8. Ah. All right, here we go. Last life left here. Does not get the free one up with the helmet, but pro probably does not see what it exactly is because it's not very clear of a sprite. Cart to cart transition? Nope. And game over for Jack and Miss Wedge. And both players did not finish. And uh, yeah, so that means this match is a draw. As you can see, this race mattered very little. Even if Jack Miss Wedge could pull off the victory against Justin Man, he had to get a very fast time to out average Zeb Gedney and earn his way into the brackets. But nevertheless, Justin Man 114 is going on into the bracket round, and he'll be facing Zyrak in the first round, which is happening right now with Edgestream and Bent Glass Tube. Greetings, Melvins. Welcome to another cesspool match. This time we've got Justin Mann versus Zyrak. How you doing tonight, BGT? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing all right. Can't complain. Managed to get out of a DWR seed in five minutes, so it's already a time save for me. That's a that's a quick seed. That's a quick forfeit. Ah, the only way to win is not to play. So yeah, we got the cesspool. I had some fancy footwork from Zyrak there. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit fancy on the vine climbs, but not too fancy. So far, it's neck and neck. No real opportunities for mistakes thus far. I'm just out to uh, an early lead, though. Good jumping over there, and. Uh... See if they take the damage boost. Oh, nope. Zyrak opts for the damage, but not the boost. Nope, halfway there. He's still learning. Yeah, I made quick work of those uh, cloud spear guys, though. That was pretty nice. All right, just goes for the helmet. Zyrak going straight for the boss, but uh, the triple shot wears out. We'll see if. Uh... Oh, yep. that game is a surprise. Yeah, not quite mashing fast enough, so he uh, gets hit by those behind guys. I, I think Justin used the helmet to finish off the boss, it looked like. I didn't even know that he was vulnerable to that. Just run into him as fast as possible, which is not very fast because this is Toki. Yeah, it is, it's a pretty chill game as far as the... Uh, Pacing, I guess. So Zyrak set up the the diagonal guy to do the skip, but then decided to do something else. Yeah, and speaking of skip, uh, Zyrak's gonna skip the football helmet. So see, uh, this could be a uh, could be a decision that comes back to bite him. Yeah, skips the triple shot too for the sine wave. 
yeah, Zara going off on a tangent here. Oh, surprise turtles! Yo, they get me every time. So I'm so glad that I have the football helmet most of the time. Yeah, we'll see Zyrak uh, using more plastic straws, throwing them into the ocean. Wants revenge? Oh, and they get him again! That joke was just for the Californians, you know. I don't know if you guys have that thing where you don't have plastic straws anywhere anymore? Uh, no. Uh, in Santa Fe, they, you're, you're banning uh, plastic bags, though. So, oh, so okay. it's pretty hard to find those. And uh, just opting for the damage boost off the boss, but it doesn't. It doesn't do very much. <laughs> it's not a great. Uh, not a great strat. Yeah, he's like very aggressive with the jumping on the eyeballs. There. <laughs> Usually, I wait for them to get. You know, they do like two high bounces and then a low bounce. Justin doesn't have time for that though. Uh, super committed to that strategy, and uh, Zyrak is super committed to uh, using a continuing. Well, he'll get his lives back. Uh, you know, might work out. Get his lives back before the first uh, health upgrade here. Yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad place to take a death if you're gonna do it. Yeah, and a quick reset there too because of the uh, placing of the checkpoint. Alright, we got uh, just going for the uh, the football helmet strats, so I'm just going to walk right through these, uh, I don't know, what are even those, they look like evil waffle cones or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're supposed to be like wasp nests or like termite nests or something. They look like piles of like literal crap with spikes in them, so you know, whatever. Open to interpretation, I suppose. All right, Zyrak kills the Firebird, and uh, the Golden Key is uh, right where BGT knew it was all along. <laughs> so I didn't see if Justin uh, got the second helmet. I guess if he did, he squandered it. Yeah, the second helmet, unfortunately, does not save you from lava, so... Oh, did he fall? He did fall in the lava. So no helmet birds. Yeah, well, we'll see if Zyrak uh, gets there. Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> Who creased that platform? Yeah, I didn't. I I was not prepared for that one. It's a frame perfect fall. It's a swag the wrong way, I guess. This is part that Justin is in. Is one of my least favorite parts. Like. It seems like even if I do this very like very consistent inputs, I still sometimes just get hit by the dinosaur eggs. It's a lot easier when you don't have that sperm cloud tra chasing you down. That's very yeah, that's very true. I generally find most of my life is easier when I don't have a, a sperm cloud chasing me. Justin Man makes a uh, quick work of the uh, whatever that thing is. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty nuts. Went through that fast. Pretty nuts indeed. Well, maybe not so pretty, but you know. Zyrak uh, takes it a little slower with his nuts there. What even is he, like, holding up in his hand or something, too? <laughs> no idea what's going on with that boss. Why does he burp? Why does he burp the letters that spell the word burp? Just a man going for the uh, alternate death abuse. Didn't quite get high enough. You know, it just occurred to me, too. Why does that boss burp in English? I don't think there's a single thing about that boss that is sensible. 
All right, just a man foregoing the death skip. <laughs> nope, you're getting it whether you want it or not. Cyrek takes it. I think that was intentional. It looked fairly deliberate. There was definitely a lot of deliberate movement in there, and uh, you know, more football helmet strats for Justin. Yeah, this this race, you know, it, Justin had taken kind of a lead, but it's he's lost a lot of it at this point. Yeah, hugging the uh, the stage two boss was uh, pretty brutal, especially uh, r right at the end there. I think uh, boss only had a couple ticks of health left. And he's gonna use the hugging strats again versus uh, this uh, elephant thing. Wow, cutting it real close there. No lives, one hit. Oh, there's an extra life. All right, an extra life and an extra hit. And he's uh, just about ready for another one up, you know, another 4,050 points. Yeah, a good time to, to not get the bonus chicken, I suppose. <laughs> bonus chicken. Oh, no! Ooh. Justin just... hits the uh, wasp nest or whatever, and that's a... Uh... He lost his lead. Yeah, lands on the uh, Fusilli Jerry, and just, uh, that's it for him. Gotta go back to start. It's anyone's race. Do we still do the uh, exclamation point jungle thing? Uh, I mean, we can do it for old time's sake. I think we should. That was my wish that I projected onto the brackets, but uh, I don't think I got that that right. So, unfortunately, still no jungle. Did you at least get uh, 30 minutes to torture Larry? Yeah, I think I have an hour now. I don't know. Maybe I'll make him play Toki for an hour. <laughs> That's kind of a, a fun way to go with it, right? <laughs> play this 15-minute game four times. Make him play the trolley game. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, just a man with some more safety strats picking up that one up. Oh, this almost... That was almost an original damage boost there, but uh, just yeah. just missed it. This is a this section can really like really get under your skin and cost you a lot of time, especially the the second platform that Justin Man gets the boots to uh, to avoid having any headaches with it, but he'll just put off the headache for later. Zyrek got through it pretty quick though. Yeah, the, the pixel perfect jump and uh, just having a little bit of trouble with that. We'll see if he can handle the vine here with his moon shoes. Ooh, first try, easy game. The, uh, the invisible giant character here, Justin told me, is his favorite boss. Yeah, pretty straightforward, you just jump over the feed. Yeah, that's why he likes it. You just jump over and just mash, you know, hold up and mash fire. Zyrek looked like he was going for, you know, big boy strats there, but then uh, called it off. Yeah, might, uh... I want to just take, uh, take a death here and get a refill, because it's pretty hard to get through the next section without uh, taking a, a hit or a nice damage boost, you know? Oh, he's got it down. Justin uh, went back to the beginning, though. So Zyrex got a commanding lead, but only one more health. <laughs> well, the, the great minecart equalizer is coming up. Yes, that's true. And uh, Justin Man's on his eh, not last life, but he's only got one left. That could that could play in here too. We got card music. Everyone, get your dance on. We got synced inputs to the cart music too, That's, so looking good. It's the only way to play the game. I know awesome. you're not a big fan of the cart music, but I enjoy it just because of the synced input. Zyrek going in going into the last segment with full health. 
I'm only a fan of the ending, to be honest. Ooh, that was a little, uh, a little close, that one. Well, Zyrek picks up the power-up, so he's just gotta get this boss down, and that's him. Yeah, and, uh, nice advantage, too, with, uh, four hearts to just three, so if he executes this cleanly, this is his race. Ooh, but Justin Man also picks up the power up, so a death to the boss here could could be his uh, his demise. Yeah, and he's going for just take damage strats and bails out at the last minute. Four more hits Ooh. to go. Power up ran out. Oh, oh no! One health. Oh that is, no! That is a heartbreaker. Ah, uh, just. With the the backstab strats, yeah. In there. Wow. So I I think Zyrex he is a little slow on the mashing, and that that cost him that boss fight. Yeah, oh, just just one hit away though. Yeah, bailed out at the last minute. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. But uh, well done to Just stuck in there. He's the winner with the thirteen twenty three. Oh no, the game's giving him the business. Okay, he gets it. That would have been uh, something if he, you know, if that bird escaped with his power up. Ooh, he gets the slow toenail there. That's kind of fun. Yeah, nobody likes the old snow slow nail. So down to two hearts and just playing it safe at this point. Yeah, quite a lot of health left on the boss, though. He seems to have a good a good pattern going here. Though. Yeah, Zyrek doing a good job of uh, dodging the, the head, but Ooh. there we go. I thought he was going to do it again. That was close. My heart rate's up. And Zyrak finishes with a 1447 and a nice purple hat. Yeah, that, I, that purple hat means he's uh, he doesn't have to play the game again. So, you know, maybe he wanted to get out of the tournament. Maybe he didn't. <laughs> but either way, the true winner. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see Justin Man in the uh, in the bowl next season. And Zyrak back here again. I guess that's a wrap. Yeah, congrats to, to Juss on the uh, on the promotion. The upper deck is within reach. Good luck next season. Pachoo! Did I hear somebody say they miss Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti? Well, just for you guys, we're going to throw it back, retro style, and present the brackets for Toki in the theme of Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti. You can see Justin Mann beat out Zyrak in the last race, and he'll be moving on to the finals of the cesspool, which also means he is going to be ascending to the bowl for next season. Who will join him, BTs or Puke7? We'll find out next week. And that will conclude tonight's episode. Make sure you stay tuned for an all-new episode Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That will feature the first round of the bowl and the upper deck brackets. This is Hans Buttface. Have a good one. Knob.